What's up guys, it's Instinct here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to do this really cool abstract sci-fi render in Cinema 4D. For the Cinema 4D tutorial, all you guys really need is Cinema 4D. You guys don't really need any plugin. Although I did use Octane Renderer to render out this scene, but you do not need Octane Renderer for this tutorial. Also, I include a free Lightroom and free materials in my Discord, so if you guys are into that, definitely join my Discord for that. And if you guys want this exact project file, go ahead and join my Patreon. You guys can go ahead and get this exact project file. So with all that being said guys, let's jump right into this tutorial. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to go ahead, hold down right here on the cube and go ahead and get a cylinder. From here, go ahead and click display and click ground shading. This will show you guys the geometry of the cylinder. From here, go ahead and change the rotation segments to 8 and also change the height segments to 8 as well. From here, we're going to go ahead and change the radius to 10 and change the height to about 120 should be good from here go ahead and click caps and go ahead and check fill a cap and put the segments to one and put the radius to one as well so you guys should end up with a shape looking something like this from here what you guys want to do is go ahead and select the cylinder and click c on your keyboard this will make the cylinder editable so now we can start modeling from here what you want to do is go ahead and select this face icon right here Go ahead and click UL in a sequence on your keyboard and then go ahead and select the middle four segments. So this one, hold shift and click these other three just like that. And if you guys accidentally select like something like that, like select more than you want, just hold control and deselect. You guys can also hit control Z if that happens as well. So from here, go ahead and right click and go to a smooth shift and smooth shift these out just a little bit. Something like that will be fine. From here, we're gonna click UL again, and we are going to select the middle two segments just like this. Right click and go to smooth shift and smooth shift these in a little bit, just like so. Just about there should be fine. Now from here, what we wanna do is go ahead and apply our materials while these faces are selected. So go ahead and apply your glow material. And like I said before, if you guys are a Patreon member, I will leave this exact project file and the materials in the description below for you guys to download. So go ahead and check there if you guys want these exact materials. Now from here, what you guys want to do is go ahead and click this line right here. And go ahead and make sure you guys click this suction tool right here. And just go ahead and click any line on the model so i'm gonna go ahead and click this line and then go ahead and click un in sequence and then all these lines should turn blue just like so what you guys want to do is go ahead and come down here and click select all and this will highlight all these lines now what you, get. Now what you guys want to do from here is go ahead and right click and click bevel this will get the bevel tool go ahead and set the subdivision to three and then zoom in really close just like this and give it a slight bevel. You guys make sure you guys don't go too crazy because sometimes you can get overlapping geometry, but in this example, I did not. Um, but yeah, I would just recommend doing a slight bevel, something like that should work. And then just go ahead and uh, zoom out. Go ahead and click display and put this to ground shading and click off and you guys can see the bubble. Something like this looks really clean and just overall nice. Now from here, what we want to do is go ahead and uh, put your material onto the render, just like so, and then drag it all the way to the left, just like this. And this will basically override the material, or the, the one, the material on the right will get the priority over the material on the left so that the glowing will appear in the middle while the metal will be applied everywhere else. Alright, so from here what we want to do is we want to go ahead and hold on this cube once more. Go ahead and get a platonic and go ahead and set the type to octa. From here what we can do is go ahead and get our model and I'm just going to go ahead and click this cube icon right here. Click the move tool and just kind of move it out of the way so we can still see our model. Uh, just like so. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and click MoGraph and go ahead and get a cloner. And then just go ahead and put your cylinder into the cloner and make sure the arrow is pointing down just like this and release. 
then you should be able to clone the cylinder. So from here, go ahead and click the cloner, go to mode, and then change the mode to object, just like so. And then go ahead and drag the platonic into the object. And now it will clone the your model onto the platonic. Now from here, what we want to do is go ahead and click cloner. And then where it says clones or where it says distribution, go ahead and change this to edge. And as you guys can see, it will clone the model onto the edges of the photonic. Now from here, what we want to do is go ahead and uh, hit, make sure we're on the cloner and go ahead and hit control C, control V. This will make a clone of the cloner. And then go ahead and delete the cylinder out of the first one or the one that we duplicated. And then from here, what we can do is go ahead, hold down and get a Taurus. And then go ahead and just shrink this down a bunch. We'll mess with this a little bit later. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it onto the side so we can kind of see it. And then just go ahead and mess around with these settings. Um, get something um, about there we'll do. Actually, we'll just go ahead and put this into the cloner with the arrow pointing down like this. And then we'll be able to adjust it further from here. So actually that looks pretty close to what I want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select the Tauros and then put the pipe segments or the ring segments, my bad, down to eight. And just like that, we have this cool effect and you guys can go ahead and adjust the pipe radius and the ring radius to kind of tweak this a little bit. But for me, that is actually looking pretty good. Um, now from here, just go ahead and drag your metal material or whatever material you're using, the same material you use for the base of the model. And just like that, we are actually almost done with this already. So one last thing to do is to add the spheres. And so for that, we're going to duplicate the cloner one more time. It doesn't really matter which one. And then delete the object out of the cloner. This time we're going to go ahead and grab a sphere, just like so. Scale this down a bunch to probably around, I'm going to go with 10 right now, but I might change this later. Go ahead and drag it into the cloner, just like so. And then go ahead and change the distribution to vertex. Just like that, we have it cloning to the uh, ed or the points of the platonic. Now, I think that's a little bit too small, so I'm going to increase the radius a little bit more. Um, something around 15. I'm going to go with 14. 14 looks good with me. And then just to make this a little bit smoother, I'm going to put the segments to 50. And that should just make the sphere a little bit more smooth and round it off. Um, one last thing to do, put the glow material on the sphere, just like that. And we are basically done. So one last cool thing you guys can do is go ahead and click the first cloner, hold shift, click the top cloner, click all and G, just like so. And then to group these, and then hit control C, control V, and then go ahead and select all three of the cloners in the newly created group, right click, and go ahead and click connect to objects plus delete. This is basically just putting everything into one layer, kind of like Photoshop, if you guys are familiar with Photoshop. And then from here, we should be able to hide this platonic and then go ahead and scale this down just like so. And what we want to do is essentially just kind of scale it right about there. Um, so it's kind of inside it. And then we can go ahead and duplicate this one more time and scale it down even further, just like that. And that just kind of fills the gap in to make it look a little bit more, you know, kind of and you guys can go ahead and mess around with this. I'm going to scale this up a little bit more, both of these, just like that. Just like that. Maybe scale the smaller one up a little bit as well. Just like that. And there we go. We're basically done. So now if I go into my camera and then turn my floor on, I can go ahead and render this out and show you guys what it looks like. Alright, so I went ahead and scaled the model up and then went ahead and positioned it a little bit 
rendered it out and here's the final result. So that's basically it for the tutorial guys. If you guys like the tutorial, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video guys. Peace.